Hello and welcome to this first video of the lesson, Life Insurance Products. In this video, we will provide an overview of the life insurance products. Here we will cover the following topics. Let us begin by understanding what a product is. A product is nothing but the output or result of certain labor or efforts. Products can be of two types. Tangible products, which refers to physical objects that can be directly perceived by touch, for example, a car or a television set. And intangible products, which refers to products that can only be perceived indirectly, for example, life insurance. The purpose of life insurance products include 1. Protection against the loss of economic value of an individual's productive abilities. 2. Protection to the near and dear ones of the individual in case something unfortunate happens to him, thus giving him peace of mind. And lastly, life insurance has been a vehicle for saving and wealth accumulation. In this sense, it offers safety and security of investment and also a certain rate of return. A rider is a provision in the contract which is used to provide some sort of supplementary benefits or to increase the amount of death benefit provided by the policy. If we compare a base policy with the pizza base, then choice of riders is like choice of different pizza toppings available to customize the pizza as per an individual's requirement. In this way, riders help to customize different requirements of a person into a single plan. Insurance rider is a clause added to the base plan by paying an extra premium. Insurance riders are options that allow the individual to enhance risk cover as per the terms and conditions of the policy. Benefits like disability cover, accident cover and critical illness cover can be provided as additional benefits in a standard life insurance contract. Thank you. In this next video of the lesson, Life Insurance Products, we will learn about some of the traditional types of life insurance products. Here we will cover the following types of plans. Traditional life insurance products are generally divided into three categories, namely term insurance plans, whole life insurance plans, and endowment insurance plans. Let us look at each one of them in detail. Term insurance plans are examples of temporary assurance. Here the protection is available for a temporary period. The term can range between 1 year to 35 years. There is no savings or cash value element accruing to the insured. The plan only provides death benefit and there is no survival benefit. Some important features of such plans are Purpose it fulfills the main and basic idea behind life insurance. That is, if the life insured dies prematurely, there will be a sum of money available to take care of his or her family. Disability Normally, a term insurance policy covers only death. However, if someone has purchased policy along with disability protection rider, then the insurance company will provide a payout to the insured person. Renewability The premiums are generally charged at a fixed annual rate for the whole duration of term insurance. Convertible term insurance policy allow a policyholder to change or convert a term insurance policy into a permanent plan. USP The unique selling proposition or the USP of a term insurance plan is its low price, enabling one to buy relatively large amounts of life insurance on a limited budget. There are a number of variants of term insurance plans, such as Decreasing term insurance In this, the death benefit decreases in amount with the term of coverage. The premium payable each year, however, remains at level. Decreasing term insurance plans have been marketed as mortgage redemption and credit life insurance. Mortgage redemption 
is a plan designed to provide a death amount that corresponds to the decreasing amount owed on a mortgage loan. Whereas credit life insurance is the type of term insurance plan designed to pay the balance due on a loan if the borrower dies before the loan is repaid. Second is increasing term insurance. This provides death benefit which increases along with the term of the policy. Premium generally increases as the amount of coverage increases. And third is term insurance with return of premiums. This plan is very popular in India as it leaves the policyholder with the satisfaction that he or she has not lost anything in case he or she survives the term. Obviously, the premium paid would be much higher than that applicable for an equivalent term insurance without return of premiums. The scenarios where term insurance holds much relevance are as follows. Firstly, where the need for insurance protection is purely temporary, as in case of mortgage redemption or for protection of a speculative investment. Secondly, as an additional supplement to a savings plan. Convertible term assurance may be suggested as an option where a permanent plan is non-affordable. And thirdly, as a part of a buy term and invest the rest philosophy where the buyer seeks to buy only cheap term insurance protection and to invest the resultant difference of premiums in a more attractive investment option elsewhere. After term insurance plans, let us discuss whole life insurance plans. While term assurance policies are examples of temporary insurance, whole life insurance is an example of permanent life insurance, meaning there is no fixed term of cover. The insurer offers to pay the agreed death benefit when the insured dies, no matter when the death might occur. The premiums can be paid throughout one's life or for a specified period of time, which is limited and is less than one's lifetime. After the insurance company takes the amount of money it needs from the premium to meet the cost of term insurance, the balance money is invested on behalf of the policyholder. This is called cash value. The whole life policy is a good plan for someone who is the main income earner of the family and wishes to protect the loved ones from any financial insecurity in case of premature death. An endowment insurance contract is actually a combination of two plans. A term insurance plan plus a pure endowment plan. Thus, it has both a death and a survival benefit component. The contract is a combination of decreasing term insurance and an increasing investment element. Shorter the policy term, larger is the investment element. People buy endowment plans as a sure method of providing security in the old age or for meeting specific purposes like having an education fund at the end of say 15 years or a fund for meeting marriage expenses of one's daughters. This plan is also made attractive because of the provision for deduction of premiums for tax purposes. Endowment insurance has certain variants. First one is the money back plan. It is typically an endowment plan with the provision for return of a part of the sum assured in periodic installments during the term and balance of sum assured at the end of the term. It is very popular in India. Second is the PAR and non-PAR schemes. The term PAR implies policies which are participating in the profits of the life insurer. Non-PAR, on the other hand, represents policies which do not participate in the profits. And third is the PAR or with profit plans. These plans have a provision for participation in profits. With profits policies have a higher premium than others. Profits are payable as bonuses or dividends. Bonuses are normally paid as reversionary bonuses. Apart from reversionary bonuses, the life insurer may also declare terminal bonuses. There are certain other markets like USA where profits are shared 
in the form of dividends. Two approaches have been followed for dividend crediting. First is the portfolio method. In this method, the total investment return on the portfolio held by the company is determined and all policyholders are credited their share of the divisible surplus. Second is the current money method. Here the return depends on when the investment is made and the rate that was secured at the time of investment. The surplus declared in the valuation depends on the assumptions made and the factors taken into consideration by the valuation actuary. Thank you. In this last video of the lesson, Life Insurance Products, we will study about the new guidelines of IRDAI for traditional plans. According to the guidelines, the product design of traditional plans would remain almost the same. A. New traditional products would have a higher death cover. 1. For single premium policies, it will be 125% of the single premium for those below 45 years and 110% of single premium for those above 45 years. 2. For regular premium policies, the cover will be 10 times the annualized premium paid for those below 45 and 7 times for others. B. The minimum death benefit in case of traditional plan is at least the amount of sum assured and the additional benefits, if any. C. In addition to the sum assured, the bonus or additional benefits, as specified in the policy, and accrued till date of death shall become payable on death if not paid earlier. D. These plans would continue to come in two variants, participating and non-participating plans. 1. For participating policies, the bonus is linked to the performance of the fund. 2. In case of non-participating policies, the return on the policy is disclosed at the beginning of the policy itself. Here is a quick overview of the topics covered in this lesson. Thank you.